good everyone my name is graphics in this video where we want to solve a problem involving link mechanism if you look at the right hand side of the screen you see a diagram that we are going to replicate in this diagram we are going to draw the locus of what of p and the questions that give more insight of this diagram says the rod AB moves so that A is always on OY and B is always on OX. Plot a locus of P for the maximum movement of A and B if AB is 130 mm and AP is 58 mm. Now, the first thing you have to do in this kind of question is to draw your ox and what oy what do i mean by os and oy this is what i mean here you draw your horizontal line from this point at any given distance and you're going to draw your vertical line at any given distance also this way you can see that so this point here is our point o along this axis we'll call it the x axis then along this axis, we'll call it the y-axis. Right? So this is what we have here. So we said this is more like a, a sliding ladder, right? It says AB is lying along OY. As in B, A is on OY, YB is what? Is on what? OX, right? And the length of AB is 130. That means if AB is in this manner, it will slide to, to some extent such that it's going to be on the vertical axis this way. And similarly, it will slide until it will now fall on the horizontal axis too. So if AB is 30, automatically OY, as in the distance along Y axis, will also be what? 30. Is that okay now? So I'm going to take my a meter rule and I am going to measure 130 millimeter now if I place it here I am going to measure 130 from this point here from 0 to 13 is 130 right now that point of 130 I'm going to call it point what I can call it, I can divide the into it or how many part I want to divide it into. So let's see. So I can easily divide here into 10 equal parts to make easy division. Whatever division you want to divide it by it. So if I place my meter rule here, I will start dividing it. Right? So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? 9, 10. We have uh, 11, 12, then 13. Right? Meaning here will be A1, A2, A3, and so on and so forth. So let me put that. Now, what we'll now do is with the same with the same length of 130, we said AB is 130, and we know that from OX also we measured 130, as you can see from this point here. Right? With the same length, I can place it anywhere here, maybe at point 0.9 or point 0.11 here or point 0.10, anywhere I will mark on the horizontal here. So where I mark that point will be B10. Since I'm coming from A10, here will be what? B10. Then I'm going to join A10 and B10 together, which I'm going to tick in this way. You can see that? So on this point here, we say that APP lies along AB, right? So on this point here, I'm going to measure AP, which is what? 58. 
So 0 to 58 is here. So that will give me my point what? My point P. So I'll call it P10. Since I'm moving on the point of what? Point of 10. All right? So I'm going to repeat this process for every point. All right? So with the distance of still 130, all together, I'll place it. I can even start from 1. So if I come to 1, I'm going to mark. Right? Here will be what? B1. And I'm going to join um, B1 and A1 together. You can see that? I'll join B1 and what? A1 together. This way. Right? And I'm going to measure distance of A to what? To P. So I'll place it here between A on this line. That will give us what? My P1. Right? I'll do the same thing with the same measurement. I'll place it at A2. I'll mark. Now A2 and B2, they're almost at the same point. Right? And I'm going to use my straight line and I'm going to connect it at A2. Right? So with the same measurement of 58, place it at A to get P. There will be what? P2. At A3, with the same one, I place it here. I'm going to mark. We at the same point. That will be what? B3. So I'm going to join B and A3 together. In order to get what? P3. So with the measurement of 58. This is what? P3. Similarly, A4, I'll mark. This will give me B4. I'm going to join A4 and B4 in this manner. Then with the same measurement of 58 from A, I'll get this. That'll give me P4. I'll come again from A5. I'll mark here. This will give me what? B5. And I'm going to join from B5 to A5. Right? And I'm going to place my compass here. And I'm going to mark. This is what? P5. I'll come again from A6. I'll place it here. On this point here, this will be what? My B6. So I'm going to join A6 and B6 in this manner. So get my point P, which is 58 from A. That'll give me P6. Similarly, from A7, I'll do the same thing I'll mark here. That'll give me what? B7. I'm going to connect A7 to B7 this way to get um, my point P, right? To get my point what? My point P. So this is what? P7. Right? I'll come again from A8. I'm going to mark here to get what? B8. I'm going to join B8 to A8. Right? To get my P8. So from A8, this way, my P8, my P8 lies at this point here. So my P8. Right? Similarly, from a9, I'm going to get my what? My B9. So I'll join A9 to B9. This way. 
right so to get p9 i'll come to a9 and i'll mark at this point here is my p9 then i'll come to a10 we already have a10 they will give us p10 and the next one will be a11 i'll mark at this point will be my b11 so i'll join a11 to b11 this way right so measure 58 from here to get what p11 so from my a12 i'm going to mark to get what my b12 so i'm going to join a12 to b12 i mean a12 to b12 this way right and i'll take my 58 measure from here i'll get here this is my p12 then the last one of the list is a13 from this point stops here so i'll just measure my 58 from a13 here and this is what my p13 so i'm going to use my first curve and i'm going to join each and every one of those points there from here i'm going to join here to this point and here to this point and to this then to this right and i also can also measure from here also to get 58 also the same measurement here from here to here is just at this point so this is just coming down here so this is the locus of what of p right when this door or the ladder whatever is sliding horizontally right as this decreases this increases as this decreases this increases so depending on what you want and you can divide it as into any division you want to maybe 12 8 9 as you want it to be so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching